Welcome. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome. Great to see you again. This time, we are going to review Hawaiian Airlines and its facilities from Phoenix to the Hawaiian Islands. We've been to Maui. We've been to the Big Island. We've been to Kauai. We've been to Oahu. We figure between the three of us, we've probably had 28 different flights in probably the last nine months. So we thought it was time for a review. Come along with us as we go through all the airports that the Hawaiian Airlines uses coming from Phoenix, Arizona over into the islands. Let's go, it's gonna be fun. Come along with us. We have flown a multitude of airlines over the last few years. Just to clarify, this review is based solely on 28 flights with Hawaiian Airlines over the last nine months. Stick around to the end as we share our favorite Hawaiian airport facility. Alrighty, let's get started. Number one, appearance of equipment. Here we're looking for overall cleanliness and upkeep. Is the outside of the plane clean? Has it been washed? The inside of the plane, is it dingy? Are there tears in the seats, rips in the carpet, or is everything pretty much kept up and clean? Overall grade, A plus. Number two, operation of equipment. Do the seats recline or are they broken? Is the tray tables come down and work? Is the facilities in the bathroom, do the door, is the door broken? Is overall the announcements, the screens, basically anything that's mechanical that could affect your trip, we look at it. We are giving Hawaiian an A minus on this one due to the fact that one time we did have a power down at the terminal that was due to a headset and we were made to feel comfortable and shortly after that we were on our way. Number three, appearance of personnel. What we're looking for here is their uniforms. Are they neat and clean? Is their hair fixed? Or like we've seen on other airlines, it feel like if you so much as ask them for a drink of water, they're gonna climb down your throat. Fortunately, we've never had any problems like this with Hawaiian Airlines, and we give them an A+. Number four, attitude of personnel. What we're looking for here is, are you being greeted with a smile? Are they being professional? Or are they snapping at people and yelling at them for really no justifiable reason? Not that there really is any justifiable reason for yelling at a passenger, but are they helpful? Overall, we've never experienced anything but professionalism from Hawaiian Airlines, and we give them an A+. Number five, in-flight services. Here what we're talking about are food, drinks, snacks. On Hawaiian, they are constantly up and down the aisles offering beverages, snacks, and on your longer flights, you get a meal. Even on the short island hopper flights with Hawaiian, you get a beverage. Overall, we've always experienced nothing but professionalism in this department, and we give Hawaiian Airlines an A+. Number six, in-flight entertainment. On Hawaiian Airlines, they have a tablet built into the back of every seat on your longer flights to where you get to pick your own entertainment, plus there are plugs to plug in your own electronics. With their entertainment options, that six-hour flight goes by really quick. We give them an A+. Number seven, airplane facilities. Here we're talking about bathroom cleanliness, availability, and aisle space, space to move around. On Hawaiian Airlines, there are always plenty of bathrooms available. Jen, you don't have to wait very long if you need to use the facilities, and they are always clean. 
Our overall grade on this is A+. Number eight, airport facilities. Now what we're talking about is the actual airport itself. When you're waiting around on your flight, whether it be early in the morning or late at night, is there um, food available? Is there coffee available? Is, are the seats comfortable? Is the place clean? And do you feel comfortable? Is it warm? Is it cold? Some of these places that we've gone to, they're after 6 p.m. not even a vending machine available for you, Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. But on this, we're gonna show you the different airports, especially in the Hawaiian Islands, that uh, they use, and um, we're, we're impressed. So we give Hawaiian Airlines an A. For their choice of facilities. Number nine, value of ticket. Here we're looking at what do you really get with that ticket other than hopping on a plane, getting from point A to point B. With Hawaiian on your longer flights, you get a meal. On any of the flights, you at least get beverage service. You're gonna have to pay for your baggage but it does include your seat, and they're nice, roomy, comfortable seats. Overall, we give Hawaiian Airlines an A plus for value. Number 10, consistency. What we're looking for here is, can you pretty much count on the same thing each time? We've flown some airlines to where we take it, and we're like, oh, great airline, everything's wonderful. Next time we take it, it's a nightmare. Same locations, everything, it's Jekyll and Hyde. With Hawaiian Airlines, you get the same flight every time. Professionalism, great consistency. The overall grade we give is an A plus in this category. Based on the above criteria, our overall evaluation of Hawaiian Airlines is? An A. We highly recommend them to anybody and everybody. Great job, Hawaiian. Mahalo for spending your time with us here at Travis Family Travels. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. We'd also appreciate your subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to leave your comments below. We'll get right back to you. Also, don't forget to hit that bell for notification of future videos. We wish you the best of travels here. Aloha.